All right, so this is my second attempt at 20.3, um, and my fourth uh, actually uh, go at this workout uh, uh, ever. So uh, first thing you'll notice is I didn't bother setting up the handstand walking. Um, first time I was a little bit optimistic, um, thinking that yeah, it might be possible that I could get there. Um, but this time around, uh, knowing what I did last time and also the fact that I was still a little bit fatigued in the lower back. Um, going into this one, I wasn't super confident that I could do better. Um, I had a game plan. I tried sticking to it. Uh, the game plan that I was going with was to actually do exactly the same uh, reps for the deadlifts. So break up three times on the 21s. So three sets of seven. Uh, this time I wanted to break up the handstand push-ups into two sets. So the first time, which is on the left-hand side there in the orange shirt, I uh, tried to do them unbroken and just the fact of the standard, I had to really pause on each one. Going into it the second time, I was able to uh, get in and do it a little bit faster uh, and I still decided to break it up. I did uh, 14 and 7 I believe um, so you can tell the difference between the two so the one on the left I was you know, that slight pause which uh, over 45 reps really adds up whereas on the right I was able to um, definitely adjust make the adjustments and move a little bit faster so I was uh, quite happy with that uh, now that I'm looking at it So definitely a lot more explosive as well. Not as slow. Slight pause there, but overall still much faster. Still getting quite high up on the uh, above the tape there, which I'm very pleased with. So it's a set of 21s on the right hand side. Um, like I said, I was still fatigued going into uh, this repeat. So I did the first one on the Friday and then the second attempt on the Monday morning. So this is my set of 15, so I still wanted to do uh, three sets of five. Um, and you'll see here, even though I started like 30 seconds earlier, I actually catch up on my first attempt. So it was about, ends up being about the same sort of time. Just the fact, especially after that first set, I really started to feel it in the lower back. Also, you might notice on the second attempt, I'm dropping my hips a little bit more. So I'm trying to use a little bit more leg drive, which is also a little bit slower, but I definitely needed to do that just because my back was pretty cooked, uh, even going into the second uh, set of five. So I'd get to sort of three and then pause at the top, take a breath and then go into the, uh, the final two reps there. So I'll see if we can pick it up here. So hips are lower, driving up, two quick reps, slight pause, pop those hips through, set of five. Right. So it's only like three seconds faster going into the handstand push-ups. See which ones kick up into first. that kick up earlier which is good so ahead of my time that I was before so see how long I held that that first rep for in the first attempt <coughs> so going to this uh, set of 15 for the handstand push-ups I was goal was two sets uh, so I did eight there uh, on my first attempt I did three sets of five which was something that I didn't plan but definitely needed after that first set took what felt like forever So 
a little bit of a rest down the bottom there, but still managed to get the second set of seven. <coughs> so this is like back pretty lit up, breathing pretty heavy. Um, but still wanted it bad enough, so. Quick check of the clock. So again, I uh, wanted to break these up two sets, uh, five and four. So again, dropping the hips. Two quick reps, well, not so quick. And then into the last set of two. That set of five felt quite difficult. Um, wasn't sure. <clears throat> I didn't feel like I could do another set of four, um, but after I did two reps, I was like, no, nah, just gotta keep going to that final two. So on the left hand side there, on my first attempt, I've done a quick set of five going into the set of four. So it's much, much quicker on the first attempt. And by the looks of things, I might kick up earlier on the first attempt. Oh, maybe not. Yep, so on my first attempt, I actually kick up earlier. I broke up my uh, set of nines on the first attempt as well, which I forgot about. Um, I was able to go unbroken on the second attempt. So this here, um, these tra or the transition between the two bars was me just trying to rest basically. <laughs> I was taking my time, <clears throat> that's for sure. Especially on the second attempt here. So just fluffing around. I think I end up chalking as well. Oh, take a knee. So at this point I didn't think I was going to be able to lift that bar off the ground to be completely honest. Wasn't enjoying that at all. So on the first attempt to get my first rip out with the 8 minute or 8.01 one rep decided to go for two um, it did feel a little bit easier obviously you get that stretch reflex uh, when you do touch and go whereas doing singles it's obviously that dead stop so after doing that uh, set of doubles I was like oh, I could do another double even though my back was screaming at this point One and two. So four reps on my second attempt and three so far on my first attempt. So ten seconds ago, I'm like, oh gotta gotta get another one, gotta beat my score. Yeah. Squeak out with one second to go. And uh score of ninety five on my second attempt and ninety four on my first. So was able to do one extra rep, which I was happy with considering my back was still fatigued and definitely fatigued a lot earlier in that one. So overall pretty happy and then we'll see how we go in 20.4. Till next one.